They are unsigned works of art, anonymous images on abandoned buildings, blooming red roses on Biddle and Wolf Streets, blue waves nearby on Rutland, decorations on the decaying, paintings on the plywood. There are no words expressed, and yet the message is understood. Love can grow here. Something can grow here. We won't give up. On the 700 block of Fulton Avenue, you can't help but notice the effort to turn vacant home after vacant home into something to behold. The plan is to force you to take notice and to motivate. That, I mean, will cause somebody to come out and sweep the front. You know, that will um, cause somebody to stop and maybe take a picture or come down and want to do a report on it. That's what we want. We want some attention. Dr. Leela Campbell is a substance abuse counselor who operates a number of brightly colored businesses nearby. She painted some of the Fulton Avenue plywood along with volunteers and residents. I am not an artist at all. But you are a person who saw this as a canvas. Mm -hmm. A canvas yes. for what? A canvas for hope. That's a war zone up there. That looks like a war zone up there. But here is the hope. Dr. Campbell not only wants people to see the beauty, she wants people to imagine a future. The paintings is like a bandage, but it, it helps for right now. We are looking for development. We want development here. What it's saying is that, you know, we're here and we're willing to fight. At the Greater Baltimore Cultural Alliance, they have noticed a number of these projects, which they say enlivens the vast stock of vacant housing. Having something that really helps to enliven that space, particularly when it's connected to the community, does point us in the direction of the future. So whether it is peace and love, the stars and stripes, or a faux windowsill with impatience, the idea is to share a feeling of impatience when it comes to communities that may appear to be decomposing before our eyes. If someone is willing to turn plywood into art, then maybe behind that canvas, Dr. Campbell says, is a bigger picture. It may appear that it's just a community that's um, flooded in concrete, nothing will really grow, but we have evidence that something will grow, a rose will grow out of concrete. The veterans group called The Mission Continues was also a very big part of this Fulton Avenue effort, and they will return in June for a big mass deployment called Operation Charm City Charge. So, it is very likely that more abandoned buildings will be transformed then. <laughs>